Hi folks. Welcome back to Metabox Tutorials. Today, let's dig into how to show upcoming events using Metabox and Oxygen. We'll only display events that have an end date after the current date. Day by day, if it passes the end date of any event, those events will automatically disappear from the page. Look at my example. Assume that today is December 12th. We will filter and display the events that are either ongoing or scheduled for the future. This means that an event with an end date beyond December 12th will be shown on the page. In this case, each event will be a post of a custom post type. And I'll create some custom fields to store some typical information of the event like this. The start date and the end date as well as will be used for that filter. Before moving forward, let's check which tools are necessary for this practice. First, we obviously use Oxygen to build the page. Next, it's Metabox plugin to have a framework to create a custom post type and custom fields for the events. This plugin is available on WordPress.org. Besides, you may want to have some Metabox extensions for the advanced features. You can install them individually, or if you have Metabox all in one in your package, all extensions are included there. Here are the extensions we need for this practice. MB custom post type to create a custom post type for the events. Metabox builder to have a UI on the back end to create the custom fields visually. Now, let's start. Go to Metabox and create a new post type for the events. After publishing, a new menu will appear right here. It's your post type. Each event may have some extra information. As mentioned, We'll use custom fields to store them. Just create them as you go. Here are some typical ones for this practice. Two of them are the start date and end date. They should be must have items since they will be used for the filter. Now go to meta box, custom fields and create them. I'll opt for the date picker field type for the start and end date of the event. Keep in mind that this field setting is visible when enabling the MB admin columns extension. Just turn it on to show the date on the management dashboard. Then you can easily compare with the result. This is optional, so I did not mention it before. Once you've created all the needed fields, go to the settings tab. Choose location as post type and select event to apply these fields to this post type. Now, in the post editor, you will see the custom fields. Simply input data into them. These are some posts that I created for reference. The start date and the end date are shown as admin columns as well. You may want to see these ones once again in the end to easily compare them with the ones displayed on the page. It's time to showcase the event information on the page. Remember, we're just displaying all the events. For filtering, we'll do it separately in the next step. Now, edit any page with Oxygen. First, select a section component to contain all of the event's details.
Next, add a heading component for the title of the upcoming events section. To get all the posts of the event post type, select a repeater component. Then go to the query section to choose the source of data. Normally, to get the posts, you can choose the default or custom type. As I only select a certain number of posts to be displayed based on the condition, I choose the query in the advanced type. We'll add some query parameters as follows. Choose this one to specify that we'll get only posts from the event post type. In this box, enter the ID of the post type you want to get data. Besides, we might want to limit the number of posts displayed in the section. So choose the post per page parameter and set the number of the posts you want to display. For my expectation, I just enter this default number to display all the posts in that post type. After applying, there are some boxes equivalent to the number of posts. Now, let's display information about each event. To do it, we'll add some components into this available div of the repeater. Select the image component to display the event's image. Connect it to the featured image of the post. Then, images are displayed immediately. For the event title, add the text component. Link this component to the post's title by clicking here. Then choose Insert Data. We'll see some options in the post section. Choose the title. So, you can see the event's title right now. I want to display the start date, end date, and location with the same style along with icons. I'll begin with the start date first. Add a new div component to cover the start date information with its icon. Next, select this one for the icon. Then, choose text to get the start date. As this information is saved in a custom field created with Metabox, click the Insert Data button. Then choose Metabox field and select the corresponding field. After that, you'll see a date from the start date field displayed. Do the same with the end date and location. Just duplicate this component to save time. Then change the corresponding information. We've just finished getting all the posts in the event post type, along with their short information. Note that again, I specifically mentioned, all the posts. You can beautify this section as you want by changing the settings of each component.
Now, you can see all the events displayed with styling on the front end. To display only the upcoming events, we need a custom query to filter those posts. Let's move to the next step. It's great when Oxygen supports creating any custom query on the screen. So, in the page editor with Oxygen, go back to the query section of this repeater and edit the query once again. We should compare the end date with the current date. If the events have the end date after the current date, they could be displayed. So add a parameter named meta key then add a value for it and enter the ID of the end date field. Next, add another parameter for the meta value. Pay attention that Oxygen allows the use of PHP functions to return values. So choose this option. Then fill in the function name as date and fill in its format. This is the default current date. Finally, add a new parameter to compare the end date to the current date. Now, enter this one to get the events that have the end date after the current date. You can see the change in the preview section. Some events have disappeared. Just the upcoming events are displayed. Back to the front end. The result is displayed clearly. Just events have the end date after the current day, which I marked at the beginning could be displayed. That's the end of today's tutorial. If you want to learn more about how to play around with Metabox, please watch other tutorials on this channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to us for more tutorials. Bye.